Hi, my name is Skyler Fossum, and today we will be reading Mistletoe and the Christmas Kittens. Mistletoe was born on Christmas Day, and when the other kittens saw him, they all ran away. His paws were red, and his fur was green, and if that wasn't enough to cause a scene, his tail had stripes like a candy cane, and it curled up when anyone called out his name. His first Christmas wasn't merry, it wasn't jolly or bright. It was a sad and lonely, silent night. No gifts, no stockings, no tree to trim, and no one there to care for him. Mistletoe grew up under porches, behind fences and gates, hiding in treetops, in trash cans and crates, and he never let anyone see him again. Well, not until one Christmas Eve, when... He found three little kittens lost in the snow. They were cold and afraid, with no place to go. Mistletoe knew what it felt like to be lost and alone. He knew these kittens needed a home. A place they'd be happy, a place they'd be hugged, a place they'd be cared for, a place he would have loved. Then Mistletoe saw something in the meadow below. A bright white light, a warm wonderful glow. He knew right away that's where they should go. So, with the kittens on his back, Mistletoe marched toward the light. He marched through the snow and the sleet that night. He marched and marched till his paws were sore. Then he thought about the kittens and marched some, some more. The light led them to a farmhouse where Mistletoe could see. The glow was a star atop a big Christmas tree. He hopped on the rooftop and quietly as a mouse, shimmied down the chimney and brought the kittens in the house. And when the last little kitten was under the tree, Mistletoe saw a present for him and thought, is that really for me? He looked in the box. There was nothing inside. He heard footsteps behind him. He had to hide. Mistletoe hopped in the box as the children rushed in. First they saw the kittens, then they saw him. He thought the children would chase him away. But they didn't. They didn't. They wanted him to stay. They hugged him and kissed him and shouted with glee. You're the best Christmas present under the tree. And when the kittens saw Mistletoe, they began running around, playing with everything they found on the ground. They wrestled with ribbons, they pounced on bows, they hopped in that big empty box and started to doze. Mistletoe looked at the kittens in that box by the tree and realized his gift was really a family. No more nights being hungry with no place to go. No more sleeping outside in the cold and the snow. No more wandering, no more wondering, no more having to roam. Because Mistletoe and the kittens finally had a family and a place they called home.